Contra series. It was released in summer of 1992 and will be the last Contra game released on the 8-bit console. There are a number of differences between this game and other Contra titles. For one, you weren't battling Red Falcon or any other alien threat. Instead, you were taking on a human terrorist group. Also, you didn't gain weapons by shooting down flying objects. Instead, the game made use of a weapon bar similar to that in Gradius. You would pick up attaché cases that you would earn by killing enemies or destroying objects. When you picked up one of these cases, the meter would then progress and once it reached the part that you wanted, you would just hit select to gain that item or weapon. Also, the game featured four separate characters, each with their own weapons, skills, and abilities. If you were playing in single player mode, then you had the option to bring along an AI partner for a brief period of time. Now, the reason why this game is so different from other Contra games is that it wasn't meant to be a Contra title to begin with. Its name in the Japanese release, or what would have been a Japanese release, is Archound. The game's Japanese release was cancelled for whatever reason, despite the fact that there was already printed merchandising material in gaming magazines in Japan. For reasons known only to Konami, the decision was made to bring it to North America as a Contra title. In fact, it was originally set to be released in late 1991 as Contra 3, with the game that we know as Contra 3 being titled Contra 4. However, the game would end up being delayed until summer of that following year, with the SNES game being retitled Contra 3, and this game being named Contra Force, as you can see. Of course, the only thing it has in common with other Contra games is the 8-way aiming, 2-player co-op, and 1-hit kills. While the game does have some performance issues with flickering and slowdown, it does have some pretty cool stages, including one where you fight on top of airplanes that are in mid-air. Now, the game doesn't really receive a lot of love these days. It hasn't been released on any compilation, it's not available on any virtual console, it just seems to have been forgotten about. If you want to buy this game, then you're looking at triple digits if you're finding it on eBay. Thus, if you want to play this, then your best bet is to get your Jack Sparrow on, if you catch my drift. Anyway, that's it for the Retro N3, and I hope to see you next time. Follow me for more gaming content.